Welcome to Change Pace Poetry, number 20, Short Poems in Rhyme Royal today. I'm Leland Jamieson. Rhyme Royal is a form which Chaucer used, uh, Shakespeare used it, and it works very well in contemporary idiom. Um, it consists of seven lines. The first three lines have a rhyme scheme A, B, A. Uh, the fourth and fifth are BB, B, and the sixth and seventh are CC. C. And so you can uh, see that uh, couplets uh, for, form the majority of the structure of this poem. And it's very nice because it shifts expectation in line four and five, and it turns out to be a very musical poem. Now the three poems that I'm going to read are from this book, 21st Century Bread. Uh, as I told you perhaps last time, this is the second edition uh, of my first collection of poems. I went to a new publisher who could deliver it at a lower cost, which I then could pass on to buyers. <clears throat> the first poem is called All Belly Up to Warmth, and it consists of one, two, three, four rhyme royal stanzas, making it four times seven is twenty-eight lines in length. Um, <clears throat> without further comment, I'll simply read it. All Belly Up to Warmth. We humans genuflect, or kneel, or bow, while lots of mammals roll upon the back to show submission, offering a chow. Each trusts his god will cut a little slack. But we defend our gut heart's bric-a-brac with mental plaque, well thickened in the skull, impeding our faint bent to feel and maul. The youngster's fingers reach to know his world, grasp at the back of grandpa's hand, construe its blue-black oxbow veins all looped and swirled. The veins, like earthworms, play a peekaboo beneath the skin when ironed out of view. He lays one ear against the gray-haired chest, eyes flashing. You've got thump-thumps, like I guessed. <clears throat> Zucchini, snap beans, celery, romaine, chopped up, plus parsley finely minced, all dressed in olive oil with lemon squeezings, rain. Detoxify the throb that's in my chest, my threefold brain, and organs with less zest. Now, for those heart-mind marvels more sublime, ponder the zero-point field paradigm. By what mysterious means is it I dream? How keep with my deceased a rendezvous. Could astral travel zipped by quark or beam or quantum flash across our cosmic blue through zero point field be the avenue? My heart is famished. Would break astral bread with warm familiars who've so long been dead? That's all belly up to warmth. Now this is a very short single stanza of Rhyme Royal again. <clears throat> it's written for my sister, uh, remembering Mumbo, a friend of my, of our mothers who took care of us uh, during a time of crisis when my dad died. <clears throat> This imagery is overlaid with uh, lots of things which I don't want to blow the poem here, but it's, um, it's more than a cobbler's table.
cobbler's bench. So here's the point. Cobbler's bench. A coffee table now. This cobbler's bench, complete with tools, has creaked here many years and gathered dust and thirst it cannot quench. It thirsts to end the idle talk it hears, to feel the thundering hammer it reveres, its cobbler astride it, soling on its last, and sewing up loose tongues, so each holds fast. And this is a poem that consists of four rhyme royal stanzas. It's called Breaking News, and it's written uh, with thanks to William Carlos Williams, who coined the term uh, as a poetic frame of reference, Breaking News. Uh, actually, it's a cliché turned on its head, if you will. Um, listen closely number of metaphors here will turn it on its head. Fully to feel the trembling earth beneath the feet and trunks of elephants that grieve, one must be a tree, uprooted, splintered, wreath. A man, not tree, not elephant, I weave iconic thoughts around my loss, retrieve what rationalizations come to mind, and uproot nothing habit has enshrined. <clears throat> Exhausted by the hurricane's long sweep of wind and rain, which thrashed as though malign and quaked my wood frame house built on the cheap, I drowsed, then slept, till scent, like turpentine, aroused me from a long dream's anodyne. <clears throat> I rose, looked out. There yawned a six-foot ball of pitch-filled pine roots, each a dripping all. Via stone lay three feet thick, and centuries old with sweet incense. I dodged the dog day street, left Cyrus at the door where he patrolled. <clears throat> I focused on my heart's deep rhythmic beat, let go my mind game's chattering deceit, and in medieval stones dark flying arcs hugged close our zero point fields quanta sparks. I hunger and thirst for the breaking news in all the poems I read and those I write. True news heaves heart and mind in hand, and slews me dizzy toward new cliffsides, dark and light, that freshly charge my blood's electrolyte. The body's ions, on them I am dependent, divulge in time our intimate transcendent. So that's the poetry from 21st Century Bread today. Um, after going to another website last week, I reverted to my own back again, www.jamiesonspoetry.com, because uh, the new site would not uh, permit me to register and submit the site uh, to websites because of a phenomenon called redirection. So anyway, I invite you to return to this site to look there for writing short rhyming poems with metaphors, a new tutorial, plus uh, an, an archive of change-paced poetry videos 
with printed texts of all poems read uh, in the series. The texts will help you catch my lousy pronunciation, I'm sure. Thank you. I hope you'll come again. See you next week.